I thought Mr. Cannell's interview with uh, the SEC investigator was the best part of the show myself because what it showed everyone in the room, and you could hear by the U's and the I's, was strictly, holy cow, everybody's in on it. The interview with uh, H. David Kotz, uh, very, very enlightening. Um, you know, Phil Cannell talks about the sword of truth. Well, the interview was truth. Uh, now there's obviously repercussions coming back uh, because it was so truthful in nature. Uh, it just goes to show you how people try to cover their backs uh, after the truth has been exposed. Uh, very, very informative. Um, I applaud Phil for, uh, and Joanne Small uh, for, for going down there uh, and doing what they're doing uh, as advocates for uh, just the salt of the earth American. I think speaking with Mr. Koch just confirms what I believe that the SEC and the stock market is corrupt. It is just working against us. I just wanted to say that I thought Mr. Canella's interview with the SEC uh, Inspector General what, a, exhibited a boldness, a you know just a desire to get the truth out there, and a fearlessness that most people don't have when speaking directly to um, the person who's there supposed to be the advocate of the investors, and yet. He kind of just said it like it was, and he puts the truth out there and doesn't care what the uh, results of that are. He wants, he wants the investors to know the truth. I was surprised uh, at Mr. Canella's interview, mainly because um, I, um, I didn't expect a person in that position to be available, uh, and also to um, be so forthright and for the questions to be so direct. Very courageous. Uh, he's taking a lot of one and uh, there's not many people that will even come close to doing what he's doing and I congratulate him and um, I really appreciate what he's doing for us. Mr. Canelli has a lot of guts to go see this, the expected general and interview him because I'm sure that uh, he uh, stepped on some people's toes at that time, and I think he's still getting some feedback about that. I thought Mr. Canella's interview with uh, Mr. Kotz was extremely informative. Um, I was surprised that he was as candid as he was. Uh, it, very eye-opening to find out that the SEC seems to be incapable of doing the job it exists for. That's kind of a scary thought, and um, I'm glad it was done. I'm glad that information's out there. I was impressed with the interview. I'm a very skeptical person as far as anything concerned with the government is concerned. Um, so I was, I was a little surprised at some of the answers that, that I felt were truth. The interview that uh, Phil had with uh, Mr. Kotz at the SEC was uh, his inspector of the SEC was uh, eye-opening for me, although I had heard on your radio show uh, excerpts of it before, it's still to, to actually see it, although I hadn't watched the, uh, the clips of it. Uh, it just goes to show that they're undermanned for the job that they need to, to do. When he talked about specifically how people go and work for this company and then go back into the SEC to know how to to, to work the system, that to me, it's just, it shows that the whole system's corrupt and it, I, I'm, I'm not going to bet my entire future on a bunch of Washington DC slick guys, that's how I feel.